Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, March 11th, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Well, at first glance, today's Microsoft Patch Tuesday looks uh, rather average. Uh, yes, 117 vulnerabilities, 25 of them are rated critical, but none of the vulnerabilities were disclosed publicly before today, and also Microsoft has not seen any exploits against vulnerabilities being patched today. The vulnerabilities themselves look, well, sort of like your average bunch of vulnerabilities for a patch Tuesday. Lots of fixes to the scripting engine, a couple of vulnerabilities in Office, Word, Excel, and the like. So overall, very average. If it wouldn't be for a rather odd leak. And now, this was first sort of noticed uh, by some people on Twitter that uh, the Cisco Talus research team published a blog post indicating that one of the vulnerabilities, CVE-2020-0796, is an unauthenticated remote code exploitation vulnerability in the SMB version 3 protocol. That's, of course, another sort of a blue keep type of vulnerability and something that's certainly serious. Now, this CVE number is actually assigned in Microsoft's release to a link vulnerability that doesn't look like it has anything at all to do with SMB or SMB version 3. So where does this all resolve? Well, Microsoft also published a security advisory. This advisory 2005, I guess, is the right number for it. does describe the vulnerability that the Cisco Talus block originally uh, hinted on. And that's that there is a vulnerability in current versions of Windows in the SMB version 3 client as well as server that can be exploited without authentication. So yes, another blue keep. And there is no patch apparently. There's also no CVE number in Microsoft's advisory. Instead, Microsoft says that uh, you should turn off uh, compression for SMP version 3 and that'll protect your servers from exploitation, but clients continue to be vulnerable. And in order to attack a client that's a little bit more tricky, you need to get a user to actually connect to a malicious SMP server. Now, just a little bit about different SMP versions. SMB version 1, of course, gave us plenty of uh, nice vulnerabilities, like, for example, Blue Keep. Current guidance is to disable SMB version 1. Later, Microsoft came out with SMB version 2. SMB version 2, I believe it was Windows Vista that uh, sort of first included it. Uh, it uh, does clean up a lot of stuff, the old graph that's uh, left in SMB version 1. SMB version 1 goes way back to the LAN manager protocol. Now in Windows 8, I believe it was when we had SMB version 3. SMB version 3 adds encryptions of to the protocol itself. And yes, you know, also a compression, which apparently is uh, the problem here. So any currently supported version of Windows should support SMB version 3, and it is uh, the most current protocol that you should be using. Do not turn back on SMB version 1. Lots of other problems uh, with that. And definitely make sure that SMB does not traverse your perimeter. That's probably one of the first things that you should yet again check. And um, yes, I have probably said it a dozen times that that's a bad idea, not just because of this particular vulnerability. Of course, the SMB version 1 vulnerabilities like Blue Keep have caused plenty of damage uh, because once attacker is inside a network, then of course SMB is usually pretty widely exposed. So at this point, apply the workaround on your SMB servers, disable compression, and uh, let's hope that Microsoft will clarify all of this a little bit uh, to see what this vulnerability is exactly about. I imagine that they try to release as little as possible about it before they have a patch available. 
But to get back to patch Tuesday on the good side, well, uh, there is no flash patch uh, this month. So it looks like uh, Adobe didn't have any critical vulnerabilities to patch here. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.